Hey guys, welcome to WP Academy. In this video tutorial, we will convert these boring login pages of WooCommerce and WordPress into amazing singular login plus sign up page that is also fully responsive. And you can also purchase a set of 10 plus modern and beautiful pre-designed login and sign up templates kits for Elementor and Ultimate member. The link is available in the video description. So let's get started and we will install the required plugins first. Install and activate Elementor. Then install and activate TML aka theme my login. Now install and activate the ultimate member plugin. Click on the create required pages button. I will remove the account page because we will be using the WooCommerce account page. Now configure TML plugin options and change the URLs of pages. You can also use any other plugin to change the default wplogin.php file to any other URL. This will change the default login pages to the login page created with the ultimate member. Now edit the login page with Elementor. Let's activate the Flexbox containers for Elementor. Change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. I will quickly add the logo to the header. Okay, now add a new container to the page and set the vertical height to 90 VH. Justify content to the center. Add a new container, set width to full width and change direction to row. Now add two more containers inside and specify the width of the left container to 60% and 40% for the right container. Copy the login shortcode widget from the above section and paste it over here. And remove the above section. Let's update and reload this page. Okay, let's remove the gap between elements for the parent container. Okay, now let's start the styling of the login section. Set a minimum height of 600 px to this container and justify the content to the center. Mm, let's change the width of the containers to 35% and 65%. Let's insert a heading widget in the sign up section. Align the items to the center in this container. Set the background color to the login section. I'm using black, you can use any other color of your choice. And set the border radius to 10px. Align the items to the center of this container. And set a custom width of 80% to the login shortcode widget. Now 
turn on the box shadow option for the login section. Set the blur value to 0. Vertical value to 10px. Set the color of your choice. I will copy it from the CSS file. Set the horizontal value to minus 10px. Okay, now do the same for the sign up section and I will use a light gray background color along with a black box shadow. Set a negative margin of minus 5px for the left value. Okay, now let's change the heading text and style. Let's copy this heading into the login section. I will just quickly change its styling and the size. I will use the Poppins font, you can use the one you like. Ok, update this page and copy the CSS code given in the CSS.txt file into the additional CSS section in the customizer. Now copy the class WPAC login form. Go to the advanced tab of the login shortcode widget. Paste it into the class names field. Make sure to copy it without the dot. There is also a class named WPAC signup form. We will use it on the registration form widget. You can also change the CSS properties like width and colors as you wish. Ok, now I will edit the login form. Edit the field and I will move the field labels into the placeholders. Let's customize the form. Hide the second button by selecting no here. Now let's see how it looks. Ok, pretty neat and cool. Let's show the forgot password and remember me links. You can also set a custom redirect after login. I will set it to my account page. Ok, now it looks much better. Let's add an avatar icon in this section. You can find free icons from iconfinder.com. I will change the icon color to our color scheme.
download it as SVG. Now insert an icon widget. Enable the SVG upload and upload the icon. You can change the icon size as you like. Okay, now coming to an issue that we will have. If a logged in user accesses the login page, he will still see these sections. And I could not find any option to disable access to the login page for logged in users in the ultimate members plugin settings. I will use a different approach here. Install and activate the dynamic visibility plugin for Elementor. Reload this page once. Now select the main container and navigate to the visibility tab. Turn the visibility on and set the display mode to show. Scroll down to the user and role tab and select the visitor uh, user not logged in option. Now duplicate this section and remove the forms and containers. Now select the parent container and navigate to the visibility tab and change the display mode to hide. Now I will add a heading and two buttons to this container. Okay, we are done. Let's update the page and see it in action. Great. Now logged in users will see this notice and the visitors will see the login and sign up forms. Now let's add the register form shortcode in the widget. Add the WPSC signup form class to this widget. Okay, now let's customize this form as well. Let's turn it into a two column form. I'll move first name, last name and email fields to the right column. Let's turn the labels to placeholders. You can also add more fields to the form depending on your requirements.
Turn on the customization options. Change the max width to 650px. Make sure to hide the secondary button. I will change the button text as well. Okay, now let's update this and have a preview. Great, we now have a compact and decent sign up form. Okay, now let's see how to set a redirection after successful sign up. We don't have the option here like the login form. To set the redirection for the sign up form, you need to go to the user roles tab and edit the default user role. Now scroll down a bit and set the redirection URL over here. Let's try creating an account. Okay, this is working just fine. But I believe redirection is not working as expected. You can further look into the configuration. Okay, now let's test the login form. Great, everything is working just fine. If you don't like the distraction free or full screen layout, you can switch it to the Elementor full width. This will include your website header and footer on this page. We can also add a link or button in the full screen layout so the user can navigate back to the main website. Add a button element in the main container. Go to the advanced tab and set its position to fixed. Give it some space from the top and the left. Now let's fix the responsive issues. Turn on the responsive option. Select the parent container and turn on the wrap option. 
Now select the inner containers and change their width to 100%. I will change the order of the login section to show it first on the screen. I am also removing the left margin from the login section and I will set the bottom margin to 20 pixels. Ok, let's have the preview. Great, it's now fully responsive. I hope this tutorial will help you create amazing login and sign up pages using Elementor and Ultimate Member. If you have found this video useful then give us a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest tutorials. You can also help us by purchasing the login and sign up templates pack and other plugin or services from the video description. Thank you for watching. Happy designing with Elementor.